Welcome to AFSPA Talks, a production of the American Foreign Service Protective Association. Each week, we deliver informative health and wellness topics you want to know about. So be sure to subscribe to us on your favorite podcast channel. And if you have any questions about content discussed in this episode, ask them at AFSPA Live. Our live Q&A session streaming every last Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on YouTube.com slash AFSPACARES. Now here's your host, Chief Operating Officer Kyle Longton. Hi, and welcome to another episode of AFSPA Talks. I'm your host, Kyle Longton, and it's my chance to wish you a belated Happy New Year. Um, this episode should be reaching you probably around on or around January 23rd. So we're a good three weeks into the new year. And I appreciate your patience and hanging in there with us while we took our holiday hiatus and as we've been getting things organized for the new year. Um, I hope that every all everyone, all of our listeners had a good holiday season and uh, that the new year is off to a great start for you. Before I get into today's topic, I do want to mention a few things that we have coming up. In addition to new episodes of AFSPA Talks, which will be coming into your podcast feed on Mondays, we also will be resuming AFSPA Live. Um, this is our live broadcast every fourth Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. Eastern, which means it's coming up this week on January 26th. Again, that's at 11 a.m. Eastern. You can catch us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, or on YouTube. And uh, this, this month, we will have a guest from Aetna. Um, actually, our senior account manager, uh, Britt Pirates, will be with us to answer your questions about our new Medicare Advantage plan, the uh, Aetna Foreign Service Benefit Plan, Medicare Advantage Plan, which we just launched this, this month. We have over 500 people enrolled in this program already, and uh, but it is a change, and there may be people who are considering it, and the good news is you can enroll at any time throughout the year. Um, you don't have to wait for a qualifying life event or for uh, open season, and we'll be answering your questions about it, whether you're enrolled, whether you're curious, whether you have a family member who's on it, you wanted to help them understand benefits, whatever it is, please join us, bring your questions. Again, that will be at 11 a.m. Eastern, um, YouTube, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Um, look for the AFSPA Cares on YouTube um, and on Facebook, or just look for American Foreign Service Protective Association. I also want to encourage everybody to visit afspa.org slash events. Here you'll find our event calendar, and we're starting to add events throughout the whole year. We're planning some fantastic webinars um, throughout the year with our partners at Prudential on various topics around financial management. And I hope that you will join us for um, some of those, and, and they will be offered live. They will not be recorded partly for... Um, compliance reasons, and because sometimes the regulations change in this space quite often. But um, there will be slides available for each one. So look for that. And we'll have additional events coming up throughout the year. We want to hear from you also about what you want to learn about, how we can help you understand your benefits, um, or help you understand various topics around whether it's health, financial health, whatever it is. Um, please let us know. You can always reach us at outreach at AFSPA, A-F-S-P-A dot org, or leave us some information on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever it makes sense for you or during our, our AFSPA live events. Uh, but we'd love to hear from you. We want to make sure that these events are useful to our members. Um, so I, I want to I want to just leave it there for now in terms of what's coming up and focus on what's happening right now. So it is the new year. We're about, as I said, three weeks into the new year. And usually after the holidays and when January 1st rolls around, some of us make New Year's resolutions. Um, and it, it we'll, we'll be talking about that today. And we'll be talking about sort of how we can support you. And so officially today, AFSPA talks support for your New Year's resolutions. Now, I'm going to share some of my New Year's resolutions, and I also got some input from my colleagues that asked about what about their goals for the new year and what they're doing and the programs and support that they're using um, to help achieve those goals and keep those resolutions. Um, if you, you feel so inclined, please share yours with us, um, either during ASPA Live or uh, through our social media and we'd love to hear from you and, and what you're doing to keep your New Year's resolutions. There may be ways that we can, can help you with that. So first up, Kyle Longton, 
All right. I have shared with, with longtime listeners of this program uh, various things about my life, about my health throughout the years. But one of the things that I have struggled with in, in some recent months is my blood sugar. I was diagnosed with diabetes in August 2020. Uh, my A1C was very high at diagnosis, 13. And anybody who has diabetes or knows anything about A1C knows that you don't want that. Um, and so I'm very glad to say that I, I've been able to bring it down um, to a six and keep it at a six for since uh, about January 2021. But that's not easy. And I wouldn't say that I did the best of, of watching or even checking regularly um, over the last month or so. And so one of my resolutions for the new year was to make sure that I am checking my blood sugar regularly and doing other steps to help keep it in a healthy range. And for me, based on my conversations with my doctor, my uh, certified diabetes educator, my health coach, all of them, that healthy range is, you know, before eating or after fasting, it's sort of between 80 and the high end of 130. And after eating, you know, up to 180. Um, and to, to be conscious of what I'm eating and how that's how that's um, affecting things. And if you listen to our very last episode of last year, we talked a little bit about this, but also not being afraid to check when I know that the the number might be a little higher than it should be. Um, and so I've been doing that, and I have been using a program that's available to AFSPA members um, living with diabetes called Livongo. It's now part of the Teladoc family of solutions, but it provides you with a smart glucose meter. It's cellular enabled, so you you check your blood sugar. And I should mention, it's free. There is no cost for the, the equipment and no cost for the ongoing program. And when I say free, I don't mean like, oh, you get the device for free, and then you've got to pay a portion of the ongoing costs for lancets or test strips. No, it's free. And when you start running out of test strips or lancets, they send you another package of 200 and you just push a button on your meter and say, running low. They say, is this your address? And it's on its way. And I love that because one of the excuses, and I, I, one of the, the, I say excuses, and that's maybe a harsh term, but one of the things I hear from family members with diabetes is, Oh, I didn't check my blood sugar. Oh, I ran out of test strips. Oh, the store was out. They were closed by the time I got there. It's, you know, there's a lot of reasons not to do it, but Livongo takes those reasons away and puts the, the solution in your hand. So I have been checking. I am proud to report that for the last um, 30 days, I have been checking an average of 2.7 times per day. That's probably a little bit too many, um, according to many of our doctors, but I'm trying to make sure I'm getting at least twice a day once in the morning after I've been fasting to see what my fasting um, uh, blood sugar is. And then another time randomly throughout the day. So sometimes it's before lunch, sometimes it's after dinner, sometimes it's after exercise and so forth. But talk with your doctor, with your diabetes educator, your coach about what is best for you. But that's what I'm doing. I've also uh, printed out a, a calendar that Lavongo offers to sort of help get you on track for the, the new year that includes, you know, check before breakfast and then another time to check during the day and, um, you know, take a phone call with a friend while you're taking a walk. There's activities on there, meal suggestions and so forth. And it's all through Lavongo. I've also been scheduling um, sessions with my health coach, part of the Lavongo services um, to, to help keep me on track and help me address some specific goals I have around my blood sugar and my management of it. So that's one thing. Related to that, one of my other goals, and I think a lot of people who set New Year's resolutions may share some form of this, and that is to get active more often. Um, and I have found some ways to do this. I haven't done it probably as much as I should or I really wanted to, but um, I we have a little extra space in, in um, our house that we moved to last year. And, and part of that space we're using for some exercise equipment and so works for me, maybe not so much for my colleagues who've been on these conference calls with me, but there have been times where I've taken conference calls and I'm on the elliptical and I have my computer in front of me. I'm looking at the screen. I've got my earbuds in, so I'm listening along and able to talk and also mute when I need to, but I'm using that time or I'm going out for a walk in the neighborhood when it's not too windy while I'm taking these phone calls. Almost every night I call a family member while I'm walking the dog. And so I'm getting some social interaction at the same time, I'm getting some physical exercise. Um, and so there are that, you know, that is there for me. If you are looking to engage in 
uh, more exercise. There are absolutely some some specific ways that the Foreign Service Benefit Plan can help you. Um, and, and there's a number of programs that I would refer folks to. And that's sort of what I want to go through through the rest of this episode is sort of what are those programs and how can they help you? And so one of the most utilized programs that we offer is our Lifestyle and Condition Coaching Program, or LCC. And um, this is a program we just started offering in 2022, and we've seen incredible utilization of individual coaching, group coaching, online coaching. There's so many different options to do it online with just some materials, do it with a human being over the phone, with a human being over the computer, multiple human beings in that group setting. But there are a lot of... um, a lot of programs to support you to get active. And one of those can be the Lifestyle and Condition Coaching Program. They can support you in achieving your goals with more than 40 different conditions um, and goals. And, and one of those can be getting more exercise um, and getting out and, and moving more. That also comes into play with our weight management program that comes through the Lavango family of solutions under Teladoc. That's also available um, and so there are a lot of a lot of ways to do this. I encourage you to do that. Now I mentioned weight management, and this is one of the goals that came up from some of my colleagues when I asked. And and let's be honest, one of my goals, and that is to eat healthier. Recently, one of my um, children, at the ripe old age of six, decided that she is a vegetarian, except for hot dogs. Um, so um, so we we as a family have made a resolution to eat better, and and we'd already been planning on that, eating more vegetables. We usually do okay on the fruit, but eating more vegetables and, um, but, but some meat free meals, um, at least for, for my daughter and and for all of us on certain nights. And so, you know, where can you turn if eating better, eating more vegetables, more fruit, less meat, whatever the goal is, where can you turn for that? And, And the answer is you can turn to your health insurance, um, which may not be the first thought that a lot of people have, but there are programs, there are benefits that are available to you. Once again, I'd encourage you to look at the Lifestyle and Condition um, Health Coaching Program. They can point you in the direction of some uh, a nutritionist who can talk you through some different things. If you have a nutritionist who you've worked with before, your doctor's recommended one, you have benefits for that under the Foreign Service Benefit Plan for ongoing nutritional counseling. We also have a digital coach program that can help people with with things like weight management, physical activity, nutrition, cholesterol management, blood pressure, and more. And so I would encourage you, that is just you and the computer walking through it at your own pace. There's not a a human being involved in the digital coach program like there is with the lifestyle and condition coaching program. So figure out what works for you. If that accountability, for me, having that accountability with another person checking in with me makes all the difference. But for some people, maybe you just want to go at your own pace, go for it. For those who are in it for the long haul, take a look at at what we offer in the Mediterranean Wellness Program. And I say the long haul because this is an eight-week interactive online program. Um, and so eight weeks may not sound like a lot, but we're three weeks into the new year and and I'm still I'm starting to struggle with some of my own New Year's resolutions. And this does require the commitment for for eight weeks. But it is in the Mediterranean diet has long been hailed as um, uh, one of the healthiest diets in the world. So for those who want to see gains in overall well-being um, and appreciate that structure, because this does come with structure, um, look at this program. Now, it does cost you up front. So you do pay for the program up front. Um, but once you've completed 80% of the program, you get 100% of the money back. We will reimburse you for that. Um, so take take a look at this. It also, if you complete the, the Mediterranean Wellness Program, you can earn a $75 healthy action incentive in the Simple Steps to Living Well Together program. Uh, So that's money back in your pocket for your out-of-pocket expenses. The same is true for some of our coaching programs where you can earn incentives. So, But uh, the Wellness Training Wellness Program, comprehensive meal plans, coaching, ways to go through it. So take a look at that. I did have somebody who responded and said that they were quitting smoking. And I applaud that. Um, I know that uh, that is something that that many people, once they start smoking, it can be a, a lifetime struggle to quit. Um, and it can also mean quitting several times. And so I would encourage those of you out there who are um, 
using tobacco in any form, whether it's it's smoking, smoke free, anything like that. Um, take a look at our digital coach program because it does offer a a support program for smoking and and really tobacco cessation. Um, and again, engaging in the digital coach program can um, earn you a, a additional money through the Living Well Together program um, that once you get to level three and level four, you can earn some of that money. So please keep that in mind. Work toward those goals. Now, you know, statistics tell us that a number of us are living with chronic pain. Um, and this can take various forms. And it can also have effects on a number of other areas of our lives. It can reduce our activity. It can affect our sleep. Um, and it can also, you know, it's right there in the name, chronic pain. It can be very painful to live with. And so th if this is you, if you have been living with chronic pain, you haven't been sure what to do with it, um, what to do about it, I should say, take a look at the Hinge Health program that we offer through the Foreign Service Benefit Plan. This is another program that is free of charge to members who qualify, and it does provide you with a health coach focused on chronic pain, as well as with exercises to do three times a week, 15 minutes per week to focus on your areas of pain. Um, it, is, it is a remote physical and exercise therapy program. And we've seen tremendous results from our members. We see people who come into the program who are looking at having surgery. And within 12 weeks, half of those people, and actually now more than half, uh, according to the latest stats I've seen, um, are looking, are, have said, no, I'm not looking at surgery any longer. We also see people who come in and self-report depression and anxiety. And again, after 12 weeks, 60%, north of 60% of people, these are born service benefit plan members reporting this, come in and say after 12 weeks, they they are not reporting depression. They're not reporting anxiety anymore just because they're feeling better about their lives. They're finding ways that are non-surgical, non-pharmaceutical to treat their pain and alleviate it for the long run. Um, so I encourage you, this is you take a look at hinge health, take a look at that um, and, and get into to managing that um, that condition that you're living with because pain is real. Um, and sometimes we think, oh, it's just, a, you know, my back hurts. I just get used to it. You don't necessarily have to live with it. Take a look at what's available. And I also want to go into a topic that that I I feel, and I hope you, if you're a longtime listener, feel like we have covered a lot on this program, but we could never cover enough, and that is mental wellness. Um, there was a mental wellness pandemic in our country prior to COVID-19, and it has not gotten better over the last three years, um, and it's it's affecting all ages. It's not just adults in their prime dealing with stress or anything like that. It's children, it's seniors, it's everybody. Um, and, and all of us are finding different ways to deal with it, or perhaps not. But the good news is you don't have to deal with it alone. You don't have to search far for solutions. And you don't have to take just one solution that might not work for you. There are a menu of options available to Foreign Service Benefit Plant members, and I want to encourage you to make use of them. I will be careful. Some of these programs are available only to members in the United States. Now, we are working to expand some of those options, but I want to be clear about that. Um, and I'll try to mention that as we go through this. But I want to encourage everybody, you know, your mental wellness is part of your overall wellness. Um, and it's worth spending time and energy on um, because, you know, that is our whole theme for the year. That when, you know, physical health leads to better mental wellness, a link to a better you. They, the, the physical and the mental play off each other and, and one affects the other. So keep that in mind. You can take care of yourself, take care of your whole self. So when it comes to mental wellness, we have offered um, one of our, our longest programs that we offered in this area is My Strength. And we're continuing to offer this to members worldwide, age 13 and older. It's a program that provides you and your covered dependents um, with evidence-based resources to help overcome obstacles of depression, anxiety, and even substance use disorder while improving overall well-being through 
and it is personalized evidence-based internet enabled program. And that sounds very technical. And yes, I am reading from the official language, but I just, I want to emphasize that they, there are different techniques that go into this program, cognitive behavioral therapy, acceptance and commitment therapy, and even mindfulness acceptance. Um, so this is available to members, again, free of charge, make use of it. It It is self-directed. There is not a person on the other end. You're going through it at your own pace. There's daily affirmations. You can check in daily. You can check in when you need it most, whatever it is. But please, please look for it. Look for the My Strength app um, or go to mystrength.com. In the show notes, I will post a link to our um, wellness programs page on the AFSPA website. And that's where you can find links to all of these programs and, and descriptions of all these programs, as well as in the official Foreign Service Benefit Plan brochure. Now, one of the things that we find is that our mental wellness can really be affected by major changes in our lives. Um, and I don't just mean changing the calendar from December 31st to January 1st, which is our focus today, or even changing the calendar from you know, one birthday to the next, um, though that can have an effect on, on us sometimes. But I'm talking about facing a major diagnosis. Um, you all have been along with uh, my journey with me as I've gone through the, the diabetes diagnosis and managing it. That that was a, a huge blow to my mental, mental wellness when I got that diagnosis and some of the other physical changes that came along with it and not knowing how to handle those and not knowing how long they might last or how to manage them. Um, you could also be facing a cancer diagnosis or heart disease. You could be looking at the loss of a loved one um, or even the birth of a child. We've talked about this before. You know, that is a joyous event. Absolutely. It is also incredibly disruptive <laughs> to your routine. Even if you've got other kids um, and are having a second, third or, or others, um, having another child can be incredibly disruptive to your routine, can really take a toll on your mental wellness. If you're losing sleep, dealing with emotions and, and, um, and other effects. So these are all life-changing events. And we have a program specifically designed to help you when you're facing a life-changing event, and that is able to. And this is um, a specific program that is only available to members in the United States. It is a an eight-week treatment support program that's designed to adjust the unique and emo emotional and behavioral health needs of individuals who are facing these life-changing events. You work with both a therapist and a coach each week to set reasonable goals toward healthier lifestyle changes. Um, so you may actually receive outreach from us at uh, Foreign Service Benefit Plan. We think that you might benefit from able to. Alternatively, you can go to able2.com slash enroll um, and find out more information if you think it's right for you. I've mentioned before the digital coach programs and the lifestyle and condition health coaching. Um, both of those also offer support for various mental wellness goals and specific incremental goals within just achieving overall mental wellness um, and, and factors that go into that, whether it's sleeping better, managing a chronic condition, um, you know, uh, depression management, eating better, whatever it may be, there's there are programs within digital coach programs and lifestyle uh, condition health coaching to support you. Now, I mentioned that all ages have been affected by the mental health um, pandemic that we're all still going through. And I was very happy earlier this year, uh, it's 2023, Kyle, earlier in 2022, when we were able to launch our partnership with Brightline. And Brightline is a program specifically uh, designed to offer behavioral support for kids. Now, this is another one where it is it is limited to those physically located in the United States, it is not available overseas at this time, but is designed to offer different resources for parents and kids all the way up to age 17. They also offer coaching and even care through uh, licensed therapists, psychiatrists, and psychologists. They can do some medication management, all in a virtual platform to support families and all members of families and what they may need, depending on what, what um, each family is fa facing. So I encourage you to look at that. They've got some great videos and some webinars you can watch. We did an episode with them last year. So you can go back and check that out. But this is an incredible program. 
um, for a space where there is great need and not always that many providers, even for in-person visits, um, whether they're in-network or out-of-network, this is a great way. They are considered in-network, um, so it's a telemedicine solution, so please check that out. Um, again, support for parents and for kids in the form of online resources, coaching, and care um, available virtually. And speaking of care available uh, virtually, we also offer telehealth services for behavioral health needs. When you're in the United States, those telehealth services are offered through Teladoc, and it does include options to connect with uh, providers who are offering mental health and behavioral health support services, um, counselors, as well as psychologists and psychiatrists. Those appointments can be scheduled. You can schedule them ongoing. And because it's telehealth through our designated vendor, uh, those, those visits are covered at 100%. If you're outside the United States, we have a program called V-Health, and they also offer a... Um, mental health support program with behavioral health support um, for folks who are licensed and um, can help with mental health and substance use disorder needs within the scope of their license. And again, you're working with psychiatrists, psychologists, clinical social workers, licensed professional counselors, or even family therapists. Once again, when you're outside the United States, this is through V-Health, um, a separate instructions for enrolling and utilizing that program, but same benefits because it's telehealth through our preferred vendor. It is covered at 100%. And if you're like many people I know, I won't say myself necessarily, at least not in recent months, but you may have a chronic condition other than diabetes that I mentioned before. Maybe it's high blood pressure. Maybe it's asthma. Um, it could be any a number of things that you're dealing with. And medication management, and, and I should say medication adherence is what I, I want to talk about, uh, may be a challenge for you. Um, and, and it is for many people. Sometimes it's just remembering to take your medication. Sometimes it's remembering to get your refills. And we have programs to help you with that. Um, you've got tools in the palm of your hand. You have, if you've got a, a smartphone, you can download the Express Scripts app. They've got tools within the app to support you in maintaining and adhering to your medication. I also want to encourage you that there is home delivery. This has made a huge difference for me from when I first was diagnosed with a chronic condition. I have my uh, prescription drugs delivered directly to my door. It's on an automatic refill. So I get 90 day supplies and this is available to foreign service benefit plan members. And it's available in many parts of the world, depending on your medication and your location. But Many medications can be sent overseas, uh, and they, they again, you can get a 90-day supply, and that's available. We have a dedicated expat team for those of you outside the United States. That expat team is there just to help our members outside the United States, but you can get your medications delivered. You won't run out. You won't run into that situation. They can even do outreach to your providers when you're up for renewal. Um, the provider will be in touch with you, obviously, if you need to go see them for the renewal, but there are some fantastic support options there wherever you are in the world. We also have, for those who may be taking uh, specialty medications or may have a, a unique condition, we have therapeutic resource centers through Express Scripts for things like cardiovascular needs, for diabetes, for um, migraine and, and other uh, neurological problems. There are, even for HIV and so forth, there are these therapeutic resource centers where people, pharmacists and even uh, physicians and nurses answer the phones. They are there to help you with any questions you have about your medication, side effects you may be experiencing and more. And so the, the help is there if you need it. And I wanna encourage you to take advantage of it um, to, to put aside any concerns that you might have about, oh, well, this is probably normal. Find out if it is. Um, we've got the tools there for you. Find out if it is and find out how you can address it or lessen those side effects. I had a friend with a chronic condition one time who was experiencing um, a specific kind of pain and was put on a new medication and went to see the doctor and said, oh, I'm only experiencing the pain three days a week instead of seven. It's such a, so much better. It's a solution. And the doctor looked at my friend and said, that is not a solution. You should maybe have it once a month 
at most that that we might see a flare up of this pain. Three days a week is not it. Let's find a different solution. Work with those doctors. If you have a specific condition, you can also address it. Um, if your 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 New Year's resolution is to take that under control, look at our second opinion um, services in our partnership with Pinnacle Care for those stateside and with E Cleveland Clinic for those outside the United States. There are so many programs we're offering you. Um, if you do, if you're not sure about them, give us a call. We'd love to tell you about them or go back through our catalog of previous podcasts um, and and listen to to um, a previous episode. So this is just a a brief overview of some of the programs we offer to support you with your New Year's resolutions. Um, We want to hear from you. We want to know how we can help you. We want to know how we can put you in touch with programs. Now, I'm going to finish up with with one of the best things you can do for your New Year's resolution. Um, But before I get to that, I also want to mention another goal that many of us have um, every year, and that's maybe for... um, for financial management to improve maybe our money saving or anything like that. It is to go to, to maybe take control of our finances in a new way, reduce our debt, um, budget, et cetera. We offer some fantastic financial wellness tools and we've covered them in podcasts before, but I just want to mention in particular um, that we do have services for long-term care planning, tax consulting. We also have a comprehensive financial wellness program through our partners at Prudential. It is, again, free to members. You can go on there. There's some, some overview um, videos. There are some uh, webinars that we'll be offering throughout the year. But there are also budget planning tools, debt reduction tools, and more. So take a look at that. Take control of your finances. It's never too late. Um, you can look at it, especially as many of us will be preparing our taxes, may cause us to take another look at our spending or at least how we're saving for the future, things like that. Use these tools. They are free, um, and that's available through our website. You can look under professional services and see um, financial wellness there. So please take a take a look at that. Now, speaking of financial wellness, the, speaking of support for various conditions we have and more, And speaking of how we at the Foreign Service Benefit Plan and ASPA can help you, here is what we can do. Here's what you can do. Go and take your health risk assessment. Now, you've probably heard me beat the drum about this before, um, but if you haven't, um, congratulations. And um, here's some great information to help you. And the health risk assessment is available to members um, age 18 and older. And it is a survey that you take online, or you can do it over the phone with with someone from the Lifestyle and Condition Coaching Program. Um, And they're going to ask you questions like, you know, do you take your medication if you have medications? What's your cholesterol? What's your blood pressure? And if you don't know those things, that's okay. You can get that through a biometric screening. But they're going to also ask you, like, how many hours per night do you sleep? Do you eat your fruits and vegetables? Going back to one of my goals. Um, you know, do you exercise and if so, how often and more, and they're going to use that information to identify risks that you have. It's, it's there in the name, health risk assessment risks that you have. They're also going to use it to maybe identify some goals that you have. If you say, yeah, I want to, I want to sleep more than five hours a night. I want to eat vegetables, um, whatever it is, they're going to identify those goals and those risks, and they're going to put you in touch with specific programs. Some of those that we talked about today, maybe others that can help you. Plus, once you complete that, what's usually about a 20 minute survey, you get $75 deposit in your health, in your wellness incentive fund account that you can use for reimbursement of qualifying out-of-pocket purchases. So 20 minutes of your time, you get some fantastic information to support you in the year ahead, um, as well as contact and and enrollment, maybe in some new programs to help you, and $75 for your out-of-pocket costs. It is a win-win-win across the board. So that is your first place to start. I want to encourage you to do that. You can find more information about the health risk assessment uh, by clicking the link in the show notes for our wellness program page. It's one of the, the first things at the top, health risk assessment, earn $75. Do it today. Um, do it anytime throughout the year because this is something you can do every single year. And we'd love for you to do it and to get in contact with these programs and start using these programs for your wellness, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, what financial even um, for, for outside the Foreign Service Benefit Plan for our financial wellness programs, whatever it is. 
make use of the, those programs and have a great new year ahead. We will be here to help you. We've got more programs coming up, including in February, we'll be talking about um, just an introduction, maybe for our new members, about how to use the Foreign Service Benefit Plan, how different things um, work, and it may be a good refresher for longtime members. So I encourage you, please subscribe and find us throughout the year. Again, we welcome your input on uh, topics you'd like to hear from us. And again, please join us this Thursday, January 26th for AFSPA Live. Our focus will be the new Medicare Advantage program. So thanks for joining me today. And I'll talk to you next time. This has been AFSPA Talks, a production of the American Foreign Service Protective Association. The views and the opinions shared on this podcast by the host and guests are theirs alone. I do not necessarily represent AFSPA or any of its partners. All information offered in this podcast is meant to be educational. Should there be any discrepancy between information offered in this podcast and official plan documents for the Foreign Service Benefit Plan or the other products offered by AFSPA, the policy provisions will prevail. Thanks for listening, and be sure to subscribe to Aspa Talks to catch our next episode. Please rate and review us on your favorite podcast app and share feedback with us on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Search for at Aspa Cares. Thanks. Thanks for joining us this week on Aspa Talks. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss an episode. If you have any follow-up questions about the topics in this episode, join our Aspa Live Q&A session on the last Thursday of every month. We will be streaming live on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash at 11 a.m. Eastern Time to answer your questions. Thanks for listening.